Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the left rear or center burner valve in your range, unplug the power cord and shut off the gas supply. Carefully lift off the burner grates and remove all of the burner caps. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the screws securing the burner heads. Disconnect all of the spark wires from the surface igniters attached to the heads. Now insert a putty knife under the main top to release the retaining clips. Detach the main top and use a quarter inch wrench to unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. You can now set the main top aside. Next, remove all of the burner control knobs. Unthread the mounting screws securing the burner valves to the front manifold panel. Open the oven door and remove the screws securing the bottom of the manifold panel. Now remove the screws on top. Set the front manifold panel aside. Next. Unthread the screws to release the support bracket. Detach the appropriate spark switch. Use a half inch wrench to unthread the nuts securing the gas tube to the appropriate burner valve. Now unthread the screw securing the mounting clamp and remove the old valve. Before you install the new burner valve, confirm that the gasket is intact. Align the new valve on the manifold. Position the mounting clamp. Then thread and tighten the screw. Attach the gas tube to the valve, then thread and tighten the nut. Snap the spark switch onto the new valve. Reposition the support bracket and secure it with the screws. Reposition the front manifold panel. Replace the mounting screws on top. Secure the two mounting screws on the bottom as well. Align the manifold in the panel and replace the screws to secure the burner valves. Replace the burner control knobs. Before you reinstall the main top, we recommend inserting the spark wires in the orifice holders to secure them. 
Now set the main top on the frame and secure the grounding wire with the screw. Reposition the right side of the main top first by hooking the rear edge on the mounting tab so the top is seated under the vent. Now position the rear edge on the left mounting tab. Making sure the orifice holders protrude through the holes in the main top, snap the front edge into place. When replacing the burner heads, first connect the spark wires to the surface igniters. Align the heads and rethread the screws to secure. Replace the burner caps and reposition the grates. With the repair completed, turn the gas supply back on. Plug the power cord back in and your range should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.